You may be seated. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness to the union of these two souls, bound by love as they join their houses to become one. We are grateful to those of you who are here today to join us and thank you for bestowing blessings and good fortune upon this marriage. This is an opportunity for us to share not only in the joy of Lord Daniel and Lady Crystal's love, but to also affirm and appreciate the love and friendships we experience in our own lives. Lord Daniel and Lady Crystal, your marriage today is the public and legal joining of your souls that have already been united as one in your hearts. It is a symbol of how far you have come in these past years and a symbol of the promises you will make to each other to continue growing as individuals and as partners. The love between you joins you now as one. Marriage is built on a strong foundation of trust and commitment it represents permanence and structure in a relationship built with a lot of investment. The road leading to this day has not been an easy one um, for these two. It was windy and wrought with adversity. But marriage means to be prepared for challenges that nobody can necessarily be prepared for and to use those experiences to strengthen and grow the love that is shared. In the tradition of lords and ladies, the hand of the new Lord Fox will now present the house ward for the bride and groom to say their oath in the sight of men. These are the words of House Fox. Strength, honor, passion. To you, Lord Daniel, and you, Lady Crystal, first of your name, swear to uphold and represent strength in all its forms. We do. I do. Do you swear to bestow honor on yourself? upon those you love, upon your future kin, and upon this house. We do. I do. Do you swear to live your lives passionately, to support the passion of those you love, and to preserve the passion you share for each other? We do. Yeah. And I pass this instrument to you, representing defense of your house and wrath upon any who would seek to bring you harm. Take this blessing. Thank you. At this point, the bride and the groom wish to exchange their own vows to one another at this time. All right, I'm going first. <laughs> love. This feeling is relatively new to me. Falling in love with you was a new and strange experience. I can't say I love too many people. You taught me how to be compassionate, patient, and how to love without expecting anything in return. Over the years, we've grown together, and I can't imagine living life without you. I love you, but you already know that. Um, you're talented, social, and very attractive. <laughs> it's easy to love such a one-of-a-kind person like you, but I'm not here to tell you I love you. There are three words that are stronger than I love you. Today, I stand in front of our friends and family to say I choose you. I choose you over all others. 
I choose not to settle for what's comfortable or convenient, but for the best. You're the strongest, coolest, <laughs> sexiest, and kindest man I've ever met. I vow to try to be understanding and try to and trust in you completely. Together, we can take on life's adventures and share one another's dreams and goals. I promise I will be your equal partner in a loving and honest relationship. Crystal, over 10 years ago, you came into my life and stole my heart away like a thief in the night. Falling in love with you was the most amazing experience in my life. I can never really describe all the feelings that came to fruition during that time. And by the time we were actually dating, I was so enamored by you that I would have done anything to be with you. <laughs> you were my crush and my dream girl. I initially was scared and did natural things to prepare myself that my fantasy would end. I had doubts and I created faults about you and us in my own mind just because I refused to believe that someone so amazing would date me, let alone love me, and let alone be my wife. You've probably had more influence on me than anybody in my life. You taught me how to love. You taught me how not to be cold and closed off from others and to be genuine and show affection to those I love. I was always comfortable opening up to you because I felt I could trust you. Because of that, you taught me to be trusting in others and be truthful with myself. You taught me how to believe in myself and to believe in others. I've learned so much from you and you probably had no idea. All these years later, whenever I see you, my heart swells with joy. You're the person I still look forward to seeing every day no matter what. I vow to always protect you, to always honor you, to give you my all and be the best husband to you that I can. I vow to care for your loved ones. I vow to always be honest with you and to provide you with my counsel and my insight. I vow to never quit on you and I, no matter what is to come. I vow to always love you in every way that I can. You're beautiful, intelligent, caring, funny, always entertaining, and almost always write about everything. <laughs> Anybody would be lucky to have you as their partner, and I am thankful every day that I am yours and you are mine. I don't believe in limits, not anymore. With you by my side, I feel no matter what we can take on anything together. I love you, Crystal. Do you, Lord Daniel, and Lady Crystal, first of your name, to swear to uphold and represent um, strength in all its forms. Mm -hmm. um, you may now, Daniel, you may now put the lady under protection of the house. Now to exchange the rings. What? Where are they? I call upon the heavens to help us.
It seems that even the forces of nature themselves have blessed this union. Thank you. 